Hello guys, welcome back. How is everyone doing today? So far we have had a lot of lessons on twin service and I'm sure you guys are very tired of seeing twin service all the time. So this is going to be our final lesson on twin service. Our lesson today is going to be about the completed event of twin service. So today we're going to look at a few examples of how to use the completed event in twin service. Here in my workspace, you see I have a ball, a red ball. I call it red. Let's now go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. So here I just have a basic tween. My tween is going to move my ball, my red ball, 30 units to the right. And the entire tween is going to take 10 seconds to complete. Once we press play, you're going to see that the ball is going to change immediately to blue as the tween started. But it's not going to wait till the tween is finished before it changes to blue. Let's play now and take a look. So there is my red ball, right? And give it probably 10 seconds for it to move. But you can see the ball changes to blue immediately as the tween started. So what I really wanted to do here is instead of changing the ball to blue immediately, I would like to wait until the, the tween is completed for me to change the ball to blue. I'm going to use the tween completed event to do that. So here, as I play the tween, I want to listen for the tween completed event. So I'm going to say tween, which is my tween right here. Right, which is this tween that we have created, tween dart completed. That that is the tween completed event. So when the tween is done, is completed, an event is fired from the server, and we're we're gonna wait for that event to be fired. So we're gonna say wait. Basically, we're gonna wait on this line until the tween is completed, and then we're gonna go and execute the next line which is to change the brick color of the ball to blue. Let's now play and take a look. So you're gonna see that this ball is not gonna change to the color to blue immediately. It's gonna start the tween, it's gonna move until the tween is completed and then it's gonna change to blue. There it goes. Your twin completed event also returns something called the playback state. It's something like a status of your twin. So here I can say local. I'm declaring a variable called playback state. And I set it equals to my twin completed event here. So when this one is completed, it's going to return a playback state status. To this local variable and down here I can go and print out the playback state so I'm gonna say print playback state let me now go and open up my output window and let's play and take a look so uh, there is the ball and there's nothing in the output yet we're gonna wait for this to complete the color is going to change to blue and there should be something printed inside the output window here and there it is this is our playback state it says enum dot playback state dot completed completed here is our playback state status now just one thing i want to point out here is you can print the playback state by itself but say if you want to concatenate it to a, a string, for example, if you want to say my playback state is, and then I'm going to do a, oops, I don't want to do that. I want to do a concatenation to this playback state here. This is not going to work. If you want to concatenate your playback state, which is an enum, to a string, you would have to convert this to string. So I'm going to say to string to convert it to string here. 
on converting the playback state to string, and now I can concatenate it with another string. Let's play and take a look. And there it goes. And it's almost done. There it is. This is our printed statement. My playback state is the enum.playbackState.completed. Again, if you don't convert it to string, you would not get this printed statement. But instead, you're going to get some kind of error saying that you cannot concatenate a string to an enum. And finally, as with all other events, you can add a connection to the event. So let's now change. We're going to remove all this down here. And we're going to add in a second tween. So this is our first tween. It's going to move the ball 30 units to the right. Our second tween is going to take only 7 seconds to complete. And it's going to take the uh, current position of the red ball. So wherever the red ball is at this time. Remember this tween is going to take 10 seconds to complete. So halfway through this first tween, the second tween is going to take over. right? Because we're only waiting 5 seconds here. So halfway through, it's going to take over. And it's going to take the current position of the red ball. And it's going to move that ball, the red ball, up by 20 units up in the air. The next thing we want to do is we want to add two connections. One for each of these tweens. So I have a tween here and a tween 2 here, right? I'm going to add two connections. I'm, first one, I'm going to say tween dot completed. I'm going to do a colon. We're adding a connection. So colon connect. Our function is going to be called check state. So we're checking the playback state of the tween. Our second connection is going to be for the tween2 here. So we're going to say tween2 dot completed colon connect to the same function check state. Now let's go up here. We're going to create that function. So we're going to say local function. Our function is check state. And the playback state is automatically passed into our function. Inside our function, we're going to check if playback state we're going to check this to see if it's equal to completed. So we're, we're going to check if playback state equals to enum dot playback state dot completed. Then we want to change the color of the ball to green. So we're going to say red dot brick color equals to brick color dot green and let's print out the playback state so we're going to print playback state now on the other hand if the status the playback state status is not completed we're going to do an else and instead of changing the ball color to green we're going to change the ball color to yellow. So we're going to say red dot brick color equals to brick color dot yellow. And we're also going to print out the playback state to see what it is. All right, let's play and take a look. Before we do that, let me open up the output window. And here we go. So there's the ball. And it's moving. Halfway through, it's going to move up. And you see the color changes to yellow. And the playback state was canceled. So when. And now it's. 
and now it's green means it's completed. So let's go back to the script and take a look. So first, we're playing the first tween, right? It goes for five seconds because this, this next one is waiting for five seconds before we play the second tween. As we play the second tween, it's canceling the first tween. The reason is because we're changing the same property of the object. Our object is the red ball and the property we're changing is the position of the red ball. So when you change the same property of that object, the second tween is going to cancel the first tween. And that's when we're getting this cancel right here, right? That's when we started to play the second tween. It canceled the first tween. The playback state is canceled, so it's changing the, the ball to yellow. And then it print out the playback state, which is this line right here that, that was printed. And then the second tween is going to keep on playing till the end, till it reaches 20 units above up in the air. When it's completed, the second tween is going to fire the completed event. And we go up here. We're checking to see if the, the playback state is completed, which it is. Then it changed the, the ball and it printed the playback state. The playback state in this case is completed. Everyone, that's all we have on Tween Service. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.